Well, the annual Scripps National Spelling Bee kicks off this week just outside of Washington, D.C., and this year's competition includes the youngest speller ever on record. Yeah, her name is Lori Ann Madison. Kristen Volk sat down with the six year old girl who can spell, well, some pretty big words. It's A N T I D I S. It's a 12 syllable word. A B L. ISH. That's hard enough to pronounce. And to disestablish materialism. Let alone spell. A R I. But for Lorianne Madison. Them, so that one's easy. At just six years old, Madison is headed to the Scripps National Spelling Bee this week. The youngest speller ever on record to qualify for the annual event. No, I'm not nervous at all. I've been in competitions with older kids before. Her first B competition was when she was just three and a half. How did she do it? Just read books, read words out of books. I was going to say read books out of words. I know that's ridiculous. And the dictionary? That's just child's play to her. The collegiate is easy. Yeah, all of these are easy too. All of these are easy because there's a lot of English and Latin and Greek. Roots? How many hours a day do you put in? Not even one. Not even one, but when I have a chance, I just I do it. I mean, come on, every six-year-old wants to play. The homeschooled girl from Woodbridge, Virginia, says she can't explain why she admires spelling so much. Yep, there's just something there that I love. But her enthusiasm for it is obvious. It's lowercase, but I just needed anything at that point. Especially for her all-time favorite word. Sprockafool. Which means... Love of words, just like I have. Reporting from Washington, I'm Kristen Volk. How about that? Pretty precocious, huh? Best of luck to Lori Ann. Let's hope she wins that thing, huh? Well, there is no minimum age requirement to qualify for the National B. 278 spellers are heading to this year's competition. Now, the winner gets a $30,000 cash prize. And with that money, Madison says... Well, she would buy herself a beagle. Live coverage of the bee begins Wednesday on ESPN. Best of luck to them all. And you can read more about the spelling bee on Newsnet5.com. There is a big story up right now. You can find that in the spotlight section.